हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल आई एम सुप्रीत कौर वेलकम्स ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन आवर यूट्यूब चैनल स्मार्ट पीटी ट्रिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक्स ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर योर लव एंड सपोर्ट and today i am here to announce yeah, announce that now we are arranging our online classes again for some circumstances we were not arranging online classes and we got some complaints from all of you who are interested but uh, now we are arranging online classes on time especially reading and speaking modules and if you are interested you can contact us on the number given below as our contact preferences are changed now and uh, again i would like to thanks all of you from that top my heart because for with your love and support we are reaching here and uh, keep supporting world war 2 or the second world war was a global conflict that lasted from 1939 to 1945 the vast majority of the world's countries including all the great powers fought as part of two opposing military alliances the allies and the axis Many participating countries invested all available economic, industrial, and scientific capabilities into this total war, blurring the distinction between civilian and military resources. Aircraft played a major role, enabling the strategic bombing of population centers and delivery of the only two nuclear weapons ever used in war. It was by far the deadliest conflict in human history, resulting in 70 minus 85 million fatalities. Millions died due to genocides, including the Holocaust, as well as starvation, massacres, and disease. In the wake of Axis defeat, Germany, Austria, and Japan were occupied, and war crime tribunals were conducted against German and Japanese leaders. The causes of the war are debated. Contributing factors included the rise of fascism in Europe, the Spanish Civil War, the Second Sino-Japanese War. Soviet-Japanese border conflicts and tensions in the aftermath of World War 1. World War 2 is generally considered to have begun on the 1st of September 1939 when Nazi Germany under Adolf Hitler invaded Poland. The United Kingdom and France declared war on Germany on the 3rd of September. Under the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact of August 1939, Germany and the Soviet Union had partitioned Poland and marked out the spheres of influence across Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, and Romania. From late 1939 to early 1941, in a series of campaigns and treaties, Germany conquered or controlled much of continental Europe in a military alliance called the Axis with Italy, Japan, and other countries.
A broad range of industrial and consumer products use computers as control systems. Simple special purpose devices like microwave ovens and remote controls are included, as a factory devices like industrial robots and computer aided design, as well as general purpose devices such as personal computers and mobile devices such as smartphones. Computers power the internet, which links billions of computers and users. Early computers were meant to be used only for calculations. Simple manual instruments like the abacus have aided people in doing calculations since ancient times. Early in the Industrial Revolution, some mechanical devices were built to automate long, tedious tasks, such as guiding patterns for looms. More sophisticated electrical machines did specialized analog calculations in the early 20th century. The first digital electronic calculating machines were developed during World War II, both electromechanical and using thermionic valves. The first semiconductor transistors in the late 1940s were followed by the silicon-based MOSFET, MOS transistor, and monolithic integrated circuit chip technologies in the late 1950s, leading to the microprocessor and the microcomputer revolution in the 1970s. The speed, power and versatility of computers have been increasing dramatically ever since then, with transistor counts increasing at a rapid pace. Moore's law noted that counts doubled every two years, leading to the digital revolution during the late 20th to early 21st centuries.
At first, all televisions used an antenna, or aerial. This would pick up television programs from broadcasting stations. A TV station could be many miles or kilometers away, and still be received. TVs can also show movies from VCD and DVD players or VCRs. Cable TV and satellite television can provide more programs at once than broadcast can. Video game consoles connect to most modern TVs. Some computers can also use a TV as a computer monitor. All TVs have screens where the picture is viewed. Before the 1950s these were usually black and white, which made everything look gray, but all modern TVs show colors. Most 20th century screens also had rounded corners. That is because television screens were cathode ray tubes. These are like heavy glass jars with one side bulging out to form the screen. Today flat panel displays are the usual kind. These are usually flat rectangles with straight edges. This long rectangle looks more like the shape of a movie theater screen. This is called widescreen. If a widescreen set was 30 centimeters tall, it would be 53 centimeters wide. For this to work best, TV shows also need to be made in widescreen. Widescreen sets can still be any size, but they have the same widescreen shape. 